Good morning, guys. I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting for Home Goods to open. I'm actually on the hunt for this gingerbread mug. I just recently saw it and I'm hoping I'm gonna find it. So we're gonna pop in here. I'm also gonna go to Hobby Lobby. I've got my little checklist of things that I need for Christmas time, some more ornaments, some Christmas trees, and like mini Christmas trees, um, and like ribbons and things. So it's gonna be like a little shop with me. So let's go into Home Goods first because I need to see if they've got that gingerbread mug today. my outfit while I lock my car. I'm just wearing like white shorts, my little Halloween sweatshirt, of course my hat, and New Balances. Sometimes I wonder if anyone's like watching me do all this and they're like, what, what is she doing? heard about the um, gingerbread cookie jar but I don't really I don't really want that I just want the gingerbread mug but I'm not seeing it sneaky that it was like way in the back. Super cute. It's really cute. Kitty's really cute, but I'm just not into her. I cannot believe I found it. I love all the like little candies and things that they have. Oh, these are super cute. Okay, I also heard the icon glasses are somewhere, so. Maybe not the sound goods, but they're supposed to be out. So let's see if I can go find them. Gosh, that is so cute. Wait, look at the little Alright, it's super windy. Just finished up at Home Goods. I'm gonna do a haul when we get back to my car. But now I'm gonna pop into Hobby Lobby real quick. And that way we'll just like do the haul all at the same time. But I'm a little nervous because I don't exactly have quite the vision like pinned down for my kitchen. But anyways, we'll we'll figure it out. Okay. 
cute. And look, they got a snowman. Gnomes. Oh, they're so cute. Ooh. Wait a minute. What, what the hell is this? Okay, wait. I love that. Oh, see, I don't... I don't have the full vision. These would be cute to hang my new um, gingerbread stockings with. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. These would be for like... Um, well, one, it could be great for gift giving, but you could put forks and stuff as your place settings. That would be so darling. And look, they have all the other ones too. Oh my gosh, and it's, let's see, it's $3.99, so 50% off, that's two bucks. Oh, there's mugs, there's mugs. Yeah, I'm just not... Wait, the snowman one's really cute. Okay, I need to focus and get ornaments. All right, so I'm getting these big red ornaments. And actually, I need to check some like navy ones. But they have all their blankets out. I've always, now that I have all that black going on, I really kind of want to do like a black and white Christmas one year. Maybe I'll change it up soon, but let's see. They don't have very much navy stuff anymore. Like, this is the blue section they have. But like, that's not my blue. I would say, like, even that's kind of... I don't even know. <sighs> I don't understand. I wish there was more blue. But, okay, let's just go this way. Oh. I also really want to do like a gingerbread colorful wonderland one year. Like look at that. That is freaking adorable. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, they have all these. Okay, they've got, ooh, they've got huge green ones. Should I do that? No, I'm gonna stick to red. Here's more blue, but it's not my blue. Ooh, they have black. Oh, it's hard to see, because like, you know, this is like a glare, but... Also, I've seen a lot of like coppers and browns, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I, I wanna do that too. I wanna do everything. Oh my gosh, look at this section. First of all, this one. Wow. Look, this one has mushrooms on it. Okay, got the ribbon. I'm wondering if I need more than this though. Cause like I'm restarting all my ribbon. Well, I don't know if like I need to get more. These ornaments are so fun this year. Like, what? <laughs> that is so cute. But I like the glass one, so that's over on this side. Yeah. These are so cute. Oh, I wish they had a Coke one. <sighs> Why is everything diet? Like, a Diet Coke is so popular. It's on sweatshirts and... But what about Coke? Alright, gotta get this one for Loki. back in the car and I don't know how I'm gonna do this haul because there's so much to unwrap but I really went for that mug and you clearly saw that I did find it so I'm very excited about it um I really feel like I need to buckle down what I'm doing in my kitchen this year because 
I do not believe I'm going to implement gingerbread. I'm gonna move gingerbread into the media room. So, or am I? Or am I gonna keep it candy cane like I always have and do gingerbread in the kitchen? I guess I my vision was to be a little bit more classic in my kitchen and really match the living room, especially since this house has that obvious open floor plan and it's also very like narrow. Um, so I didn't want like one side to be, you know, this Ralph Lauren plaid and then the other side to be gingerbread. Not that it can't be. I just wasn't sure I wanted that. So I really feel like I do need to go. I was thinking about just doing like a bunch of little Christmas trees and I did look in there, but I didn't find the ones I wanted. So I do feel like I'm probably gonna have to go on Amazon and what is my... Um, yeah, so, anyways, I, I gotta sit down and kind of, like, look on Pinterest, get some inspiration, and see how that's gonna go, because I already have bought the wreaths that are gonna go behind or hang on my, um, bar stools, so, anyways, I'm also starving. I wish I had, like, a breakfast taco. Anyways, um, okay. These are the red, the huge red ornaments. I actually envisioned them to be a little bigger, but I'll take these. I'll definitely take these. Um, they were $25.98, but 50% off of that. So that is um, that price because 50 per, um, Christmas is 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Okay. I am gonna let the camera roll today. I'm just gonna tell, I'm gonna just tell you that up front. If you're watching, two minutes of silence because I'm pinning my hair back. You know, let's let's let it happen today. Okay. Um, and then you did see that I got that little glass ornament for Loki, the little sardines. I had to. I thought they were super cute, and I want to make sure Loki is represented in that tree as well. I'm actually so excited for this because this tree that I'm doing all of these glass ornaments and they're, they all are very unique, obviously. I'm very excited about this because there's this one half of my brain that has to be like matching and it has to be looking like a magazine, you know? And that's that part of me that that's the plaid and the traditional Christmas and everything kind of has like crisp clean lines and then there's this other part of me that wants to have fun and not let it be so serious or so planned or you know does that make sense like I think that's the part of me that grew up in the late 80s and early 90s where our tree was just like a pish posh of like random ornaments that we'd acquired throughout the years and you sprinkled tinsel on it and there's that that part of me that really wants to come out as well. Um, let's not get it twisted. The part of me that wants the crisp clean magazine and all that, that's like 90% of me. So this tree is really gonna be a lot of fun because hopefully it gets that other part of me to kind of like loosen up a little bit, you know? So I'm very excited for this tree, like the most excited. Anyways, I spent $55.65 at Hobby Lobby. So, there's that. The ornaments ended up being $12.99. So, I spent $25 for both. Instead of them being $25 each, I spent $25 for both. And then, uh, Loki's ornament was... What was Loki's ornament? Wait, I don't know what his ornament was. Oh, his ornament was $10.99, but it was 50% off at $5.49. Then I had to buy a ribbon. So I bought this thicker ribbon because I have a vision for my front door. I am going to return those bows from the at-home store. So girl math, I get $60 back. So really Hobby Lobby was free. Um, plus I have five extra dollars, Why? right? 60 bucks, 55. Anyways, um, I just had a different vision in mind for my front door, and since I have a double door this year, I've always wanted a double door, by the way. When Micah and I lived in the house that we shouldn't have sold before we moved to Florida, um, 
we would walk around in our neighborhood and there was this one street it was kind of like in the back of our neighborhood and for whatever reason it was the only street that um the majority of the house it had houses had the double doors and we were just we loved them we were like oh wish we had a double door like i remember going back to my house and looking at my front door and going like could I have somebody come in and give me a double door? But just the way that the house was structured, there was no way it could like have that room for that. Anyways, this house has a double door. So we both, so did Florida, by the way, Florida had, no, Florida didn't have the double door, but I remember when I bought that house, um, I was like, but there's room to make a double door. So, but I never ended up doing it. Anyways, this house has a freaking double door. I'm gonna stop saying that. And the ribbons that I got from the at-home store just aren't, or the bows aren't gonna do what I wanted to do. So I'll throw up a picture of my vision. And so this is the ribbon that I got that's gonna like hang and basically hold the wreaths. Or I'm gonna have to figure out how it's gonna do that. But it's gonna be the strip that comes down. Um, and then I did get the ribbon that's gonna be on the wreath which I got at Home Goods, which I'll show you. Then I got a bunch of these. This was the ribbon I really needed to secure. It is like red velvet ribbon. And I do not like this kind of velvet. It's like nails on a chalkboard to me, but I'm gonna have to like work it out. But I'm gonna make new little red bows and put them all over the Christmas tree. Cause the bows I have now are like satin and I don't think they're right. I think the more I find myself like decorating each and every year, I feel like I learned a little bit more about interior design and obviously texture and material can really change things as well. Not just color, not just size, but material can make things also look different. So I'm going to X out on that satin ribbon and we're going to go in for the velvet, which I think velvet also is very, it's like warmer and cozier. And I really think it speaks to plaid and Ralph Lauren a lot. So there's that. All right, and that's it from uh, Hobby Lobby. Now I'll show you guys what I got from Home Goods. I picked up another one of these rolls. I just was, it was $3.99. And I've already showed it, but I think this is going to be my, it's going to be my rip, my wrapping paper for my Ralph Lauren tree. We'll just call it the Ralph Lauren tree, okay? Um, so, I just wanted to get another one of these and it's so super cute. Okay, then here is the ribbon that I got for the front door. Very different from obviously the one, the huge one that you saw from the at-home store, but this is much more, I'll throw up that picture again. You know, like it's just, this fits. And I really love like red velvet bows, $6.99 and I got two of them. However, I'm now wondering, do I need to go back into Home Goods? It's right there. And do I need to get more of these? Because I put wreaths throughout the inside of my house too, and maybe they should all match. I need to go back. Once I like turn the camera off real quick, I'm gonna go back and look at my pictures um, and look at my wreaths on the inside of my house. I think I had that burlap wreath, right? The burlap one with the, it had like a red trim. Yeah, I think that's gotta go. Anyways, then I picked up these little curly cues for the main tree. The main. Go watch my previous um, Christmas haul. I also hauled gingerbread and pinks. And that's gonna be, I'm gonna wrap a couple of little presents throughout all the different trees in the house. I think that will just be fun. And I got this beautiful ribbon. I'm gonna have to like watch tutorials on how to wrap presents with ribbon like this because I have not a damn clue in my life how to do this. If you know any YouTubers that specializes in this, please, I would love it if you could share their accounts with me. So I only got this one. They didn't have another roll of it. It was $7.99. Um, I do feel like I'm going to uh, hunt for like more ribbon on this note maybe like a red version or something okay then i found this adorable bag like are you kidding me so this is gonna go under the gingerbread tree you know so if i have like a little gift for micah or something this bag was two dollars and 49 cents i can't even believe that 
I honestly cannot even believe this price in this economy. <laughs> um, so she's gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell, but there is glitter all throughout. So love her. And then I got these cute little napkins. The sun is kind of peeking through now. So $3.99 for that. And okay. So there's that bag. I'm just going to like throw this in here. Okay. Also, when you're buying these kinds of ribbons, watch how they put your ribbon, your bows in your bags because um, sometimes I have to say you have to like take them out and readjust them because they get wrinkled and it's not, it's not fun dealing with that, especially with velvet ribbon. Like the person that packed my bag, she just like threw them at the bottom. I was like, ooh. So after I had to make sure I immediately like grabbed them, pull them out so that the everything lays as flat as it can. Um, so there's that. Okay, then I got this little like list pack, the little gingerbread, like how cute is that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably move. I think the sun is like, mo she's moving fast today. $4.99 for this one. And then this little candy cane one just did it for me. I'm I'm really into pink this year, which is kind of surprising me. $4.99 for this one. All right, I moved. I had to move because I just want you guys to obviously be able to see in here. Okay, so there's that bag. And then I also got some candy. I honestly could have gone to town on their hot chocolates and their little chocolate stirs and all the things and I probably should have because now's the time to grab um, before it's just all gone. This was $6.99 but it is just tiramisu little like chocolate um, truffles or whatever. Milk chocolate pralines. I, tiramisu is my favorite dessert. I just got that for myself and when I start wrapping presents and that later on I'll have those out and kind of like you know eat them but let's just talk about the stars of the show which are the mugs I truly only came to home goods for the sole purpose of finding that gingerbread mug I just saw it last night on like a TikTok, and I screenshotted it and I honestly could not believe that I woke up today and I found her. Let's see. Yeah. Like, I knew, I just knew, I knew when I saw it, this is going to look so beautiful with my collection. This was $5.99. I do feel like at this point, I think I've completed my Christmas mug collection. There's not anything else I'm really like searching for. Um, and then I found the Santa, the Santa one, I, you know, I don't know. Not my favorite Santa look, but I do love the mug itself. I love the green trim on the inside. It's just so beautiful. And this one was $5.99 as well. And this is by a company called the North Pole or North Pole. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. So there's that. I spent... $86.98 at Congress. Um, this mug right here, I fear it's going to go viral. I haven't seen anything about it. That's not to say it's not floating around um, on the internet, but it's very different. It's very metallic, as you can see, but I just feel like it will look really special with my collection. This was $5.99. And it is by Marion Bright, which is, um, I have a couple of the Marion Bright mugs. So, and he also obviously is a nutcracker and he has that gingerbread look to him too. So I thought that was really pretty. And then the last mug, which felt so sneaky because it was like way in the back. Um, and yeah, I'm like, I'm wondering, did I already haul this one? <laughs> Cause I've held so many gingerbread ones, but I don't think I have. As a matter of fact, I saved this one on like Poshmark just so that like I know where, what is out. Um, peppermint and pine. So wouldn't it be funny if I have already hauled this? I don't think I have. Have I? Oh. 
anyways, so uh, this was $4.99, and I, I don't think I don't I don't think I have this one. So, and it was actually one that I did want to find. I know that for sure um, because I immediately recognized it. So, anyways, that's it. That is my Christmas haul. Thank you guys for coming along and shopping with me. If you want me to do more of these, like shop with me's, let me know. Um, or let me know which what you prefer. Like, do you want me to be sit down in front of a cozy fire at home? Or do you want me out and about? Or do you do like the mix of things? Um, but yeah. So that's my haul for today. I'm gonna go home and think about and investigate what I'm gonna do with my kitchen. Stay tuned because I'm gonna start decorating in a couple, like three, three-ish, four weeks. So the week before or the week of Thanksgiving is when I'm gonna start. And yeah, so I'm very excited. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time, bye.